Dan Lawrence, what's going on? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're working on a mountain bike today. We're going to show you how to remove an old or original seat in our case and install a brand new one. Let's get started. All right, DOR is at the mountain bike right now. This is an early 2000 Diamondback and you do not actually have to remove the seat post. We are going to remove it to give you a better view. It's kind of crammed back here. And to do that, remove that, pull up, be careful. In most cases, this part is greased or oiled. You don't want that on your clothes. Let's head to the workbench. Here we are at the Craftsman workstation and you can see we're kind of busy. On the left hand side you see an outdrive on a stand. We actually just rebuilt that. However, we're back to the mountain bike seat. Let's take a closer look. To a closer look again, that part is greased or oiled. Do not get any of that on your clothes. And there is the mount or bracket on the very bottom. Looks like we will need an Allen key. We'll actually have to loosen up our light and kind of shift it out. What I'll do is reposition that post and seat in the vise. At this point, I have the seat post secured in the vise, and if you do it this way, do not over tighten that. You do not want to damage the post. What we need to do is grab a Phillips screwdriver and loosen up this screw and shift this light down. And again, all I'm doing is loosening up this Phillips screw, and that's going to allow me to shift that light down. Now we can gain access to the underside Allen bolt. And as far as your Allen key, it's trial and error until you get the right size. And we've got the right size and taking a look at this, basically this bracket or mount here, one part feeds into the seat post while the top part locks the seat in place as you tighten up that Allen screw or bolt. So as I loosen this up, the grip that this mount has on these bars right here on either side of the under portion of the seat will loosen and the seat will begin to wobble and we'll keep unscrewing that until that bolt is removed so we can pull the entire seat off. At this point, the bolt is not all the way removed, but I can maneuver the seat off the actual bracket or mount, and there it is. And before we go grab the new seat, I just want to show you a close-up of the bracket or mount here. And it looks like it's more than two pieces. And here's the new seat. Let's take a look at the part number down below in the comment section, as well as description section, is a link to purchase this. And much better. A little bigger, too. Look at that. This is a universal bracket or mount here. We need to remove this. I believe these are half inch nuts. And again, we need to remove this because we are not going to use this. And in most cases, when it comes brand new, it's pretty loose. So I've got, again, a half inch socket and ratchet, and I'm going to loosen this all the way off. From here, I will unwrap it. Look at that. Nice. Here's a quick comparison of the underneath portion of our seat. On the right hand side, the old or original seat. On the left hand side, the new one. Let's go ahead and install it. And a quick look of the under portion bar of the new seat. And right here is where the seat is going to secure itself to the mount or bracket right here. And I may be able to maneuver it in place as I was able to remove the other one just by wiggling it. And there we go. From here, I'll grab that Allen key and tighten it. And as you tighten this, just ensure that you are tightening it evenly and not crooked. What I recommend every couple turns of the internal bolt, realign the seat with the bracket or mount and continue tightening. Do not over tighten this, but you want it snug. Once you're happy with the position of your seat and the tightening of your bolt, if you have a light, shift it back up in place and we are going to carefully tighten that Phillips screw. And this goes into a plastic thread housing. Do not over tighten it. You will break it, crack it, or strip the thread real quick. That would not be good. From here, we will remove it from the vise and head back to the bike. One last quick view of it at the workbench prior to going to the bike. Pretty simple. Very friendly DIY project. All right, DIYers, back at the bike, and I've re-secured the seat post and seat, and it is perfectly positioned how I want it. I've actually sat on it and took the bike for a spin on the cycle ops. This is neat. Coming to the back side, you got a reflector right there. And this is a very soft and awesome upgrade from the previous or original seat. In addition, we've kind of got mismatched colored grips. And we are going to make a video that's scrolling above right now on how to remove the old or off color grips and install these. More of a match, kind of a mellow yellow. From here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.